Fingerboard Week. Yep, that's right. Fingerboard Week is happening. For everyone that's new, Fingerboard Week is pretty much a whole week of consecutive fingerboarding videos. I'm sure a lot of you are expecting a big cool kind of intro, but sadly we've had budget cuts and I can't afford to do a big cool intro. <laughs> I don't know about this 8 Rock 3. <laughs> Very funny, 8 Rock 3. You've always been a little droid full of jokes. Tell me another one. <laughs> Very funny, but how are we going to get out of here? Invented Fingerboard Week. Fingerboard Week! Fingerboard Week! That's freaking right, baby, we're back! And yeah, today we're gonna make a tinfoil fingerboard. So yeah, let's let's crack on with it. Let's waste no time. Alright, here I have the tin foil. This is what I'm going to use as the pliers, which might be interesting because tin foil is extremely thin and it doesn't really have any structure to it. I feel like I'm going to need an insane amount of pliers to make this thing as thick as a normal fingerboard. <laughs> Look at this stuff. That is extremely thin. <laughs> I 
so that's 22 layers, and it's still extremely thin, so I think I'm gonna have to do like four more of those. That's another 35 layers on top of this. Hopefully that's enough to make a deck that's as thick as a normal fingerboard. I feel like 50 something layers. It's gotta be, right? And to stick this thing together, we are using epoxy resin. I bet that's a surprise. Boom! I mean, the epoxy resin was able to stick the aluminium board together. Hopefully it's able to stick this stuff together. how much resin's pouring out the side. Ugh. I'm not sure if this is going to be a great success. We've relocated the deck to another room because it's actually pretty cold at the moment, which means the resin will probably take ages to go off. So we put it in this room with the heater. Now we just need to wait for it to dry and then we'll come see how it turned out. This thing's been setting for around three days now, so it should be completely set. The next problem is getting this part, which I think might be more of a struggle than it might seem because it's pretty stuck together. I'm just gonna try knock this around a bit. Hopefully it comes apart. Oh, that didn't do anything. Yeah, that's very solid. Oh. <laughs> Gotta put the gloves on because I don't want it flying apart and cutting me or something. <laughs> they really do be stuck together though. <laughs> Maybe I can get something in there and pry it open. Got a little bit of movement. Yes. We've done it. That's a freaking chunk of metal right there. Now I just have to figure out a way to cut this out. Let's try out my new cutting device. I have no idea if this is gonna work on metal. I have faith in you, little scroll saw. so much better than I thought it would. The deck is looking weird. A really odd shape. But you can see all the layers which look crazy. The next step is just kind of finishing it off and making it look nice. It might not look amazing, but sadly I couldn't get all the masking tape off the bottom of the deck. So there's these random green patches all over it. And I tried to get rid of it for a long time. I've been sanding this for a while. So I thought instead of trying to get rid of it, I would maybe embrace the randomness of it. This picture right here is what I was going for, and this is how it turned out. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. It's hard to draw with paint pens on such a tiny little thing. The deck is done. It turned out better than I thought it would. Like, it's crispy. It ended up being this kind of weird, old school looking shape, like a welcome board, but you know, I'm down with that. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, try set this thing up and see if it actually works. It's a solid deck. Like that's a, that's a solid boy. I don't really care what you say, this thing looks awesome. <laughs> I had pretty low expectations for how this would turn out just from when I pressed it and all the resin came out the sides, but it feels solid, but...
because the top layer is kind of like crinkly because it's tin foil. It's kind of added this pattern to the top of the grip tape, which feels like it's going to make it even more grippy. Maybe fingerboard companies should start adding little like wrinkles and stuff to the top of the decks to make the grip tape grippy. I don't know. I'm just trying to revolutionize this sport, man. I haven't tried any tricks on this deck yet, so this is going to be my first attempt. All right, here we go. Kickflip test. I mean, not the prettiest kickflip, but it, it was a land. Let's try to clean that up. You know, honestly, it feels very similar to any other fingerboard. Yeah, it's like, it's slightly heavier. If you close your eyes and didn't look at it, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference between this and any other fingerboard, so. Tin foil. Maybe that's the new fingerboard technology. Who knows? I'm gonna try to do some tricks on this. Hopefully it doesn't crap out. Something's telling me I don't think it's gonna. And then after I try these tricks, you're gonna wanna stick around because I have a very special announcement I'm going to announce after these tricks. So yeah, trick time. <laughs> Fingerboard. It works exactly like a normal fingerboard. The only thing that I can really tell that's a difference is the weight. It's a little heavier than a normal fingerboard, but other than that, it pretty much feels the same. I, I actually really like it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the first day of Fingerboard Week Part 7. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and it just kept getting delayed and pushed back, but now... It's finally happening, so I hope you guys are hyped. This week should be really sick, so make sure to come back tomorrow for the next video, and I'll, uh, I'll see you then. Yeah, before the video actually ends, um, a quick announcement. I think a lot of you probably know what this announcement is, but, uh, Pork Fingerboards have officially been restocked, and they're available right now, link in the description. This has been something that I've been getting so many comments about, and they're finally here. And this restock of pork decks are actually slightly different to the old ones. They've got a brand new finish on them, which is insane. It is so slick. The decks are so insanely smooth now. Oh, that's smooth. Like a baby's bottom. And you probably can't tell on camera, but it really brings out the colors a lot more. Like, the colors just really pop out and attack your face. We've also changed the grip tape that comes with the decks to this stuff. I've been using this grip tape for the past like six months. It's so much better than the old grip tape. So every deck comes with a piece of grip tape and a sticker. Also just to clear up some confusion, all the prices are in USD. The old decks were $25, these ones are $28. Just because it costed more to get this new grip tape in and it costed more to get the new finish. They're $2 extra but I put a lot of time into hand finishing all of these decks so I hope you guys enjoy them. So yeah, they're available right now so go pick one up. Also go check out the new Merch. It's all available right now. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. It's pizza time. Pizza time. Not today, government.